All right. Okay, so uh, how I think the community can benefit is, first of all, I'd like to say all of us are temporary able. So eventually we will become disabled. My issue is a mobility issue, so I like to I have a list here. So I'm going to begin with how the community can benefit is the exposure can educate the people around us simply by being physically present. Many of our brothers and sisters do not know about disabilities and mostly are willing to learn and help. This is an opportunity for us taking accountability of what we know and sharing to the community. First of all, you may notice that during times of Ramadan and Eid or special events, people do like to park in the handicapped spots if they're in a rush. And these parking spots are there for a reason. So if an unauthorized vehicle is there, somebody just do your part. Just, just write a note on the letter and if it needs be, you can call the authority. It's Don't be ashamed for what is out there for you. Another thing is that a lot of people love to use the handicap stalls. Now I understand that's spacious and comfortable, but there's a reason why it's spacious and comfortable. I use a wheelchair, a lot of people use electric wheelchairs, and we can't fit into the normal stalls. And so I don't mind sharing my disability, so I don't have bladder or bowel control. So if I'm waiting for somebody to exit the stall, I just smile when the person exits because they don't know. But I have to let them know, hey, because of you, I wet my pants. Because of you, my bowels came out. So, I mean, I have no shame. So this is something that we all need to be aware of. Um, now, if you do see somebody in line with who has a disability or in the wheelchair, allow them to take the front of the line and let them use the handicap stall. Um, another thing is that some people like to park where the, sometimes vans allow to use the lift and there are special strips on the white strips on the ground. People like to park there sometimes and if you do block that area, the person who has a lift or myself who has a wide door, I can get out with making my wheelchair outside. So like I have to repark the car and make my uh, trip to the mosque much longer. Uh, another thing that everyone loves to do is to live, they love to leave their shoes out in front of the entrances, including the bathroom entrances, such as the slippers. Now, for somebody like myself who has the ability to go over the slippers, I have no issue. But somebody with a manual chair, that can cause some sort of uh, obstacles. Now, in general, that's a fire hazard, or that's a, that's a danger zone. So, somebody, if there's an earthquake or something going on and people are trying to rush out, out of the building, People can trip, uh, so this is a serious issue. So if it's not your shoes, and if it is your shoes, just pick them up and move it to the sh where it needs to be. Um, another thing I like to talk about is just, again, exposure. Just being here present, um, it may be so that some family members or people in our community are uncomfortable with the types of disabilities that are out there. Whatever the reason they have, by us not participating in functions because of the lack of love received from the community, community or lack of accommodation due to the infrastructure, we will make the it will make the outing for us more difficult. But just one of our this is just one of our many struggles, particularly our social struggles. So in the Quran, chapter forty nine, verse thirteen, there's a verse that I love to re reflect on. O oh mankind, indeed we have created you from male and female, and, in, and made you people and tribes that you may know one another. So we're all created differently, so I'd like for you guys to just reflect on that. Again, our exposure can educate and take steps to create changes in our community. And it's our U.S. citizens' rights, so if there's an issue, you, you can definitely escalate that. Um, I wasn't talking about my company, but I already spoke more about that. So if anyone has more interest in what we do, I would say that uh, how the community can benefit is create gatherings or outings in the mosque or outside the mosque. Um, by creating community gatherings, we can benefit from unity. From my experience working at Board, I have witnessed how a community can come together and grow from what was lacking to providing resources for the disabled community. The Adaptive Cycling Center has grown as an outreach center where riders can become members and use equipment when they visit. So if here at the mosque, now I'm not suggesting that we have some sort of like athletic program, but we can gain from something from having all of us come together. Uh, members who have a place in the community, 
during, so, I mean, the mosque is usually open mostly, so people can just come together. This can be a place of belonging. So if you do see somebody out there who has a disability or you see a parent who's struggling, you know, a smile does go a long way. And Asalaamu Alaikum, of course, means peace. So if you guys know that, understanding the true meaning of that, live up to it. Um, and I like to say that my program also provides uh, financial assistance with adaptive sports or adaptive equipment. Um, now, I know here in the Bay Area, a lot of us are uh, really well in um, having a lot of money. So if there are people out there who want to help families with disabilities, there are ways they can help out a lot. Uh, sports equipment is not expensive. My personal bike cost me $7,500. Um, and so it goes a long way if you go out helping financially or spiritually or just physically. To break the stereotypes, I would like to say it is what it is. So take owner, take own from what, take ownership of what's going on. And I love the idea of just exposure, showing up, be present, let people see what's going on. If there is a disability, there is no shame involved. I mean, a lot of other members are part of doing the same thing, whether it be visible or invisible. We all have a struggle, and then we we are part of this ummah. So let's not forget that.